In this episode, we're going to find out how to use Canva to improve the workflow within your web agency. If you want to find out what the heck I'm talking about, I recommend you stay tuned. This episode is sponsored by Cloudways, the managed cloud hosting platform we trust with all of our projects. You can find out more on agencytrailblazer.com forward slash Cloudways. Let's face it, Adobe reigns supreme in our industry, and I think we can all get a little bit snobby about the tools that we use as designers. I would actually put to you that Canva can be a really powerful tool in your web agency, allowing you and your team to create images for your clients that A, your clients can use quickly and easily, but B, your clients can also customize, thus reducing the amount of artworking that you're having to do within your business. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways you could utilize Canva for a few different use cases, and then I'm going to show you how to share all of this with your clients. I'll show you how to do it using the free account and some of the benefits as well of using the pro account. Let's get stuck in. Let's take a look at creating a hero image. The most effective way I found to do this is to go to create a design and type in website. Click on website and it will create a container that is roughly the right size for a hero image. And these can all be smart resize later using the resize tool. Now you can see here a few recently used, but if you were to scroll down on the left hand side, you can see tons of hero image ideas. And the great thing is if you were to mouse over these, you can also see different block ideas. So these can either double up as hero images or content block ideas. Now, one of my favorites is this one that's up in my recently used. So I'm going to click on that and it gives me the choice of five different blocks I can use. I'm going to go for this hero image here. And at this point now, I can change all of the text. I can obviously add text. I can change this background image. I can add or change fonts. You can actually upload your own fonts or your client fonts, etc. And then when I'm ready to go, I will simply download that in the relevant format that I need. Remember too, that you can share these with your clients, allowing them to edit and to export. I find product images are quite hard to make look interesting and also I struggle with inspiration for putting relevant information into those images. If you think of Amazon, Shopify, WooCommerce carts and the seller has a range of images that are nicely styled, where could you get that inspiration? Good news is Canva. This really sounds like an advertorial but simply hit create design, tap in product. There we go, product image is what we're going to select. And down here on the left hand side, we have a whole load of different options and each one we can mouse over and see the different formats that are available. In fact, that's pretty cool. I'm in the market for a chair. Let's take a look. I can see these in more detail. If you want to use all of the layouts, you can click apply all pages or you can just simply select the relevant layout for you. And again, you can customize this to your heart's content. You can also mix and match all of the different layouts. So let's take a look at this. Obviously, can replace that image that's a no-brainer if we have a look at this I can update this copy change the colors replace images change the fonts everything's available for me nice and quick and easy and then I can download all of that information in the past we found it difficult to help our clients find the right image at the right size for their blog post or to support them in creating a combination of text, colors, and imagery for something that would capture the eye, still work, and look on brand. Now we can do this with Canva. Let's go up to create a design, 
type in blog, this is going to give us a whole load of blog layout options. I've clicked there on blog banner and down here on the left, I can utilize any of these layouts or I can design my own, which would then be shared with the client. Remember at any time we can resize this depending on the size of the website or the size of the image that you need. And also we can then share this with the client when we're ready. First thing I'd like to show you, let's do an example of a bakery. Um, let's go here to photos and we can run a search for bakery. There we go. And the client may then select any one of these images as the background. I'm going to drag this one in and you can see that this will automatically snap to the full size of this frame and it's ready to be exported, therefore at the right size. The other option we have is to go to templates and design a template that they can utilize. Let's say we want them to utilize something like this every time. We would change the copy, we would change the fonts and the layout so that it's on brand and ready for them. And then at any time they can come and change that background image simply by dragging that image into the background there, changing the relevant text and so on. Social media posts come in various sizes for the different platforms that are out there. Now with Canva, we can create imagery for our client for them to use, and we can create those templates for them to use themselves. What we'll do is we'll create a Facebook post, then we will resize that to an Instagram post. We can do that by creating a design and typing in Facebook, and we'll select here Facebook post. For this example, let's just select one of the templates that are available. Might be this one, the, the Bistro looks beautiful fantastic let's now imagine that we filled this in we put all the relevant branding imagery and we're ready to resize this we're simply going to go up to resize and type in instagram and select instagram post when we hit copy and resize it's going to copy open in a new tab and give us the instagram version of which now we can resize accordingly if we want to make it look just that little bit better and for me my ocd is going crazy i'm going to need to resize that so that this looks like a square within a frame other than that it's ready so what i could do now is use these both as templates that the client would use in the future or if I'm responsible for creating the imagery each time and each one's going to look slightly different, that's not a very long process for me to start with Facebook and then work my way through the different sizes, keeping everything on brand. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I like Canva. I've got to be honest. <laughs> Now, as I've mentioned a few times, you can create a template version for your clients to use. There are two ways to do this. The first one, if you don't have a pro account in Canva, and that's just you as the agency owner, then you can simply go ahead and share it with the relevant client via their email address and give them the option to edit. What you would then do is inform them not to edit that particular version, but to use the make a copy option. If you have a pro account, you will be able to click on share and click here, which is share a link to use as a template. This is the one that we would tend to use. And let's take a look at what the client would see. We're logged in here as the client. And whenever they click on the link that we've sent them, they can see a preview of the image and they can use this as a template. It creates a brand new version of the image every time. So it means they're not ruining the original that we made for them. And they can go ahead and change all of the relevant copy and then download it. The pro account is pretty cheap comparatively and you don't need one for every member of your organization. You could just have the pro account for the one key user within your agency. And it's certainly something I would recommend if you want to make it that little easier to share and to collaborate with clients. Remember, your clients do not have to have a pro account to use this. However, do be aware that pro images will not work on free accounts. They'll be asked to either purchase those images at maybe a dollar or two, or they will see some watermarks over them. So the big question is, are you convinced? Do you think I've got a point about Canva? Do you think you could use that within your business to improve your design workflow? 
Whether or not the answer is yes or no, let us know in the comments. I don't mind being told I'm wrong. Be polite. Let's be nice. Let's have a conversation about this. Is it about the tools and the professional capacity of those tools? Or is it about the workflow that you can apply and the advantages of things like Canva being online versus something like the Adobe ecosystem being a product that has to be installed on your machine? It'd be great to have that conversation. Use the comments below. Also, we have a Facebook group. If you want to come and hang out with us over there, that's agencytrailblazer.com forward slash group. And finally, if you would like to listen to my voice, do subscribe to our podcast. We are on all the podcast players of choice. Simply type in Agency Trailblazer and you can hear me once a week talking about agency life. If we don't see you on the podcast, if we don't see you in the comments below, if we don't see you in the Facebook group, then let's at least see you in next week's episode. And yet there are a range of tools out there that I perfectly stop it. Stop it. And you can use a product that was meant for the consumer for the professional designer. That wraps up this episode. I hope no. Thank you. Poop.